Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. If you like n Nintendo news, discussion, debate, uh, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel and all that. Drop a like, leave a comment, let me know uh, what you want to most see at Nintendo's next Direct. Because today we get to talk about that very thing. Nintendo's next Direct. Because we have our first, I guess what we could call a rumor for that next Direct. And... You know, me, I, I always kind of fish around at times trying to find uh, where the next direct rumors are going to be coming from. Because typically, once we start getting a little bit of smoke, it means something's going to happen. Now, that something still might be a couple months away. We have no idea. But at least it gives us uh, some hope uh, for the future. And we know that Nintendo traditionally does directs in June. Uh, although these directs are typically built around E3. They don't always even call them directs. Sometimes they're called E3 showcases. Sometimes they're called digital events. But for all intents and purposes, they're just, hey, 40 minute long Nintendo Directs. And while there is no E3 this year, there is Summer Game Fest. And sure, Nintendo could be attaching their Direct to that, or they could just be doing it around the same time period they usually do, which is the first couple weeks of June. Uh, we have no idea, but uh, we have some rumors here. One of them technically already panned out. And they're coming from somebody uh, who has a track record of getting a lot of stuff correct and also sometimes getting some, some stuff wrong. So it is what it is. We're talking about uh, Samus Hunter. And here is what Samus Hunter had to say on Twitter about this. Uh, she said, uh, back on May 2nd, she said, I'm back. How are you? I took a week off to relax and also spend some time with my parents. Yes, we also played Switch Sports. It was nice to relive similar emotions to the Wii period. It's May, a month of transition, but also an important one. On May 10th, so in four days, well, there will be an important meeting, the one of the new fiscal year. Every so often it happens that on these occasions, Nintendo announced a new title such as one, you know, maybe a new one to switch could be a candidate since a few months ago, the plans called for an announcement in May. So basically saying, Hey, we might get an announcement on May 10th. Of course we might not. There's no guarantee. Uh, Nintendo has already started with the marketing for Xenoblade three and Splatoon three, as we already know. Uh, but now that switch sports is out, expect news for Mario strikers with a nice overview trailer that will illustrate the mechanics and characters not yet announced in Moj such as career. Now, technically, uh, there was a, uh, Switch Sports trailer dropped yesterday, uh, last night. We actually watched it on our live stream on the Japanese YouTube channel. It was about four and a half minutes long. Uh, it, it didn't show necessarily new characters. It did show new modes, but these were online modes. We didn't see a career mode. Uh, but hey, there was a, technically a new trailer. Uh, and then she said, I'll give you updates on each subject as we approach their release, which again, she didn't really give us any new updates of that trailer because maybe she didn't know about it. It was a Japanese only one. Uh, but now you might go, but Nate, I didn't hear anything about a Nintendo Direct in there. Well, we're getting there because obviously she does respond to comments, especially early on her post. Uh, and one of them said, will uh, Silk Song?" Uh, by any chance released this year and she said yes it does have a strong chance so giving some hope for silk song to come out uh then another person said and this is where we get to the direct is a direct in june still possible according to hugo henris and samus had to respond and said yeah they are still working on the next direct they have plenty of stuff to announce and release dates to confirm so she's basically saying hey uh Will there be a direct in June? Uh, yeah, they're still working on the next direct. So she's banking on there being a direct in June. Uh, she's not outright saying it will be in June, but if they're working on the next direct right now, that would infer either later this month or in June. So there you go. Uh, we apparently can expect a direct in June, according to Samus Hunter. I, I find this to be fascinating because obviously predicting a, a June direct is somewhat safe, but also a bit risky this year, just due to the fact that, hey, Nintendo has never actually done one outside of E3 in June. Don't believe me? Go back and look at every single major event they have done in June to unveil a bunch of games, and it's always been E3. The one year there wasn't any E3, 2020, there also was no Nintendo Direct in June. Now there's no E3 here again in 2022, 
So is it going to follow the same pattern and not have one in June? I don't know. Nintendo obviously has a lot of games to talk about, a lot of release dates we don't know about. Potentially wanted to tease some more games for 2023 to remind people, hey, the Switch is still going to matter in next year beyond Zelda. So, yeah, there could be a direct, and there could be a lot of things. There could be new games announced for this year that we don't know. It's very rare that we would already know about every single game coming this year. There's almost always a new announcement in June or July, somewhere around there for games that we don't know yet. I mean, even in 2020, at this point, we didn't even know that Paper Mario was coming and then a new Paper Mario game dropped. So, again, it's very rare that we know about every game coming out. So, yeah, there could be new game reveals for this year. I know a lot of people are thinking Zelda remakes or something to replace Breath of the Wild 2 this year, and that is a strong possibility. So, yeah, there might be a direct in June, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, my personal expectation at this moment is I'd say it's probably a 50-50 coin flip, which is better than most months. I would argue September is also a very, very good month to bank on there being a direct because there's typically Nintendo directs in September as well, and usually that's the last major direct of the year. Every now and then you get a weird thing in December and then, you know, maybe something in January. I don't know. And Nintendo's a little weird with their their end of year and early year stuff. But you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below because there's just a lot of thoughts percolating about directs this time of year. And I'm just excited to get to June. We already have Summer Game Fest. We have Prime Gaming Fest going on as well. Uh, lots of great stuff going on there. We'll probably see some Sparks of Hope news from Ubisoft. And I just want to see what's next from Nintendo. So you guys let me know what's going on down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. And I'll catch you in the next video.